Hey guys, I decided to make a video to announce that my pace bin has been updated for patch 7.2 as well as updated to include the Legion Alchemy Prox. I've also wanted to make a video for a while to cover my pace bin groups and let you guys know what sorts of items are in each group in a very general sense so you can find what you're looking for. So I thought I could combine all of this information in this video. This video, however, will not cover how to import the groups into your TSM, as I already have a very detailed step-by-step -step video on that topic. I'll toss a link to that video in the description. Now before we jump too deep into nerd talk, I just wanted to quickly mention for any new people what this whole pacemen thing is about. Most of you probably have heard about Trade Skill Master. It's an add-on that streamlines your buying, selling, and crafting in the game among many other things. This add-on is an empty shell and only does what you tell it to do, meaning you have to set it up. While I certainly encourage everyone to build their own TSM, as you will understand the add-on better, there are just some people who would rather use someone else's profile. That's where Pacebin comes in. It's a text sharing website. I can export my TSM settings into Pacebin, and then you guys can grab those settings and import them into your TSM. This includes all my buying, selling, and crafting operations, and those operations will work with pricing on your own specific server. So this is my main pace bin. It has really large groups. Not everyone's PC can handle all of these massive groups. Some people have complained their PC crashes when they try to import some of them. That is what led me to make my alternative pace bin, which is this one over here. This alternative pace bin has all the same stuff that the main pace bin has, just the groups are much smaller. So for anyone who doesn't have a beefy PC or is just looking for some very specific groups, this pace bin will be for you. Choose whichever one best suits your needs. Okay, so let's go through each group and give you guys a general idea of what's in them. The shopping list, if you grab that group from Pastebin and you go and you pop it into your TSM, this is what it's going to look like. There are some subgroups here not shown, but just to give you a general idea, most of the raw mats that I buy and are sell in the game are in this group. So all of the Legion raw mats are in here old content raw mats here, all of the Eternals, Primals, Volatiles, and Sorceress are here, and some other random items. This is not to say that everything in the game is in here, so feel free to add anything to any group that you want. So the Legion BOE groups, I'll have to just direct you guys to either Muffin's groups, he is on the TSM team and he is much quicker with updating these groups online for you guys, and I'll have a link for his stuff in the description. However, his groups will only have the item IDs. If you really want the buying and selling operations with them, you'll have to get them from my alternative pace bin. I physically cannot put them on my main pace bin because they're too big for me to even export them. Now this is what the transmog group looks like. It has every single piece of armor and weapon in the game and it's pulled from the WoWhead database and then sorted into groups based on pricing using region and global prices. It also has all the vendor shirts, vendor transmog in their own group so you never accidentally buy a vendor item from Sniper because when you hover over the tooltip in Sniper you will see it is in a vendor group which is a warning not to buy it. Now because this group is so large and has so many items in it, this is going to be one of the common ones that's going to crash people's PC. So if you can't get this group in, this is one that a lot of you guys will probably have to head over to the alternative pacemen to get if you want. All right, so I have all of my professions set up in TSM the same. They're all broken down into three sections. So the first section is always going to be the legion aspect of that profession. The next section is always established markets within that profession. So anything outside of legion that does very well in the auction house and makes a good amount of gold is going to be in that second group. And then everything else that's left over from the profession will be in the third and final group. So you can see here I've got all of the professions on the screen and you can see that they're pretty much all set up that way. Leatherworking would look like this. Tailoring would look like this. Blacksmithing would look like this. So this is what enchanting would look like here. All right, guys, you see jewel crafting looks about the same, but there's a slight difference there at the bottom. You can see instead of one leftover group, I've broken up that leftover group into two different sections. One has the gear and one has the gems. That's just because I really hate crafting and selling the gems in that other group, so I just wanted a way to exclude it while still keeping it in the profile for those of you who like those markets. 
Now, Inscription does have new glyphs and mantis runes coming with 7.2, so this group has been updated. However, it's not really clear at this point which new glyphs are actually coming. Once we go live with 7.2, once we find out for sure exactly which glyphs are going to be added to the game, you can just remove any of those that aren't uh, pertinent anymore, or you can just ignore them altogether because if the glyph doesn't exist, you're not going to be crafting it and selling it anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. Now, Alchemy has nothing new coming in 7.2, but I've updated this group to include the Legion Alchemy procs. So to quickly show you how this is done, because you really should know, first we're going to look at how to fix the crafting aspect of Alchemy in terms of dealing with these procs. So you have to go to the crafting operation or make a crafting operation and then select override default craft value method. Then you're going to account for that 47.3% proc chance here by writing this and you can change the minimum profit or max restock quantity to suit whatever scale you want to work with. So now when you open your alchemy profession, you can actually see if crafting flask and potions are profitable or not. If you don't fix this, it could mislead you into thinking flask and potions are not profitable on your server. And if you want your crafting operation to only restock flask if you can make five gold profit per flask, you have to write it this way to account for that proc chance instead of just writing five gold. But feel free to increase this to 20, 50, 100 gold, whatever you want your minimum profit to be. Now to account for the proc chance in the selling operation, you would have to make it look something like this. Most of you would do just fine with the first part of this operation, which would just be this section right here. However, there's going to be some people using my profile who can't craft flask but still want to buy and sell them, so I have to build my operations to make them usable for different types of auction house players. That's why it's got a lot more stuff in here, so it covers everyone who's using my profile. So all the Legion Alchemy potions and flask are set up under the same way that we just covered with the 47.3% proc chance. However, Potion of Prolonged Power has a much lower proc chance. So I've incorporated this much lower proc chance for this item into my TSM, which is of course also updated on my pacement. So there's nothing new coming for engineering in 7.2, but for any of you who are curious as to what this group looks like, there you go. So Legion cooking looks like this. So if you were to grab my battle pet group on pastebin and pop it into your TSM, this is what you would get. Now there's some new ones coming in 7.2, which has been included into this group. And feel free to arrange this group in any which way that you like. So if you were to grab the events group, what you would see is exactly what is here on my screen. The gold making aspects of each of the events can be found in their respective groups. So whenever an event is on and you're not really sure what you can do with that event to make gold, this would be a great place to go and look and find that information out. The Farmed Random Items has some new updates for 7.2 which are included. This group is a nice group of items we generally farm or flip or both. Lots of new 7.2 items coming. These items look like they can be sold on the auction house. If anything is a bust, just delete it or ignore it. And the group with all the lock boxes that honestly is just there for mailing convenience and that's it. No longer available items are pretty self-explanatory. Some people like these markets, some don't. It's totally up to you. The recipe section should be pretty self-explanatory. It's broken up into sections, allowing you to focus in on any particular area of interest. TCG mounts are in their own group. I do not have all of the BOE mounts in the game in my TSM because I don't play those markets. So if that's a market that's of any interest to you, you're going to have to build that group yourself. Uh, BOE toys are in their own group for selling and or flipping. And the final group is vendor restock. I have items in here that I frequently like to restock and have sitting in my guild bank for crafting queues so I don't always have to be running to a vendor. Streamlines my crafting process. Feel free to add any other vendor items to the list that you frequently buy. So that covers my TSM pastebin groups in enough detail for you guys to find exactly what you might want. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.